What is going on guys? Welcome back to another tutorial for the magic training facility. Chris Ramsey here, your teacher for today. And I'm gonna show you just some basics in card flourishing or cardistry as you would call it. These are very, very simple cuts that you have to know. They're two-handed cuts. They're very, very simple. You can use them either with magic or in cardistry. They are pretty much the bare bones of where you wanna get started. So if you're interested in cardistry, but you find a lot of the tutorials to be too difficult to learn or too time consuming or frustrating, then I suggest you start here. So without further ado, we're gonna get into it. We're gonna look at the swing cut, the swivel cut, and the rotation cut. These are three cuts that you can use side by side. You can intertwine them. Feel free really to get creative and to start coming up with your own flourishes. This is a great, great way to start. So let's get into it. So here we go, to get started, grab yourself a deck. It can be a new deck or a used deck. If you use a used deck, like a poop deck or something, it'll probably go a lot smoother because the cards won't be single, you know, they won't be flying around your hands and stuff. So a good pro tip is use used cards. They hold together a lot better. And when you feel confident enough, you can uh, upgrade to a new deck, such as these ones, these lovelies here. This is, uh, these are the red, the Scarlet Rounders by Daniel Madison. So first things first, you're gonna hold it in an end grip or a biddle grip, however you wanna call this. Uh, basically what you're gonna do is your middle finger is gonna contact this part of the deck, your index this part, and your thumb just down here, so close to the edge back here. Your index is going to break off half the packet. Now, as you notice, my middle finger is still in contact with the bottom half, and my thumb is in contact with both. My thumb is now like a fulcrum point or a pivot point for that top packet to go to, right? So this is essentially the move. Now, at first, you know, let's try this with the left hand so I know what it feels like. Yeah, at first it's gonna be a little, oh, a little iffy, you know, to get this down. Um, that's what it's gonna look like. This is me doing it with my left hand. Uh, but once you get the hang of it, it'll just it'll just feel natural. You'll do it like as easy as you breathe. Once you're here, boom, break off that top pack. And you're just gonna swivel it, and that's why we hold it on this side, so we can swivel it over here, all right? Now, if your hands are not that flexible, just keep at it, it'll get there. Now, once you're here, you've created this nice little border. And what this border does is a perfect, a perfect little place for this part of your hand, this meaty, fatty part of your hand here, to sort of clasp that corner, just like so. All right? So the swing cut, boom, you're here. Clasp, pull out, re-grip with this hand, and then clasp again. Now I'm clasping it between the deck this time. So not between there, but also there. And it just keeps going. Boom, you let go, boom. Very simple, so boom, break off. Shuck it to the side, pinch it, pull off. Now, you don't wanna do this with your right hand. Your left hand is gonna be the one moving and that's, that's a nice little tip. So as you're here, boom, it's the left hand and all this hand is doing is, is this. All you're doing is lifting and over, lifting and over. So it has that nice fluidity to it when you, in succession, get it all done. And that is the swing cut. Now let's look at the swivel cut. And now for the swivel cut. So for the swivel cut, it's the same exact motion you're using for the swing cut. Uh, using the index placement and the middle finger and the thumb, except instead of grabbing it here, your index is going to come around back and touch this corner right here, right about there. Okay, once you've done that, you're gonna let go of it with your thumb and it's just literally gonna rotate around your index. Your hand, this hand here, is gonna catch that packet as it drops and rotates down, right? Once again, lift off to the side, index. Instead of grabbing, your index is gonna come back here. Push, drop, and drop on top. Now look how nice that looks. Just that, just that is a really nice cut. You know what I mean? Put the two together. Ooh, ooh, they get better every time. Look at this, boom, boom, boom. Let's learn the rotation cut. So the rotation cut, once again, same thing here. But instead of 
your finger grabbing it back here, your thumb is actually gonna grab it up here. So much like grabbing it or going back here, your thumb is gonna stay up here and you're just gonna rest that part of the deck on the side of your thumb here. And now instead of swiveling it with your indexes, you're gonna swivel it with your thumbs. And then a little bit trickier because you gotta clear that packet, but you can catch it down here. So full speed. Again, a really nice, lovely little cut. Now feel free to string all of these together. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that, we've already created a flourish together. This is really fun because you can really mess around with these beginnings. Uh, that's how I come up with a lot of my flourishes. So you start off with a simple cut, break it off. You can do all sorts of things after that, which is really fun. Let's say if you strip it here with the thumb, if you keep your thumb underneath, you can even pop a card out there on top for some reason. So let's say you're here, here, and then close up, boom, now I have this card on top. I don't even know what I'm doing, but you get the point. This just goes on and on and on. You can come up with your own stuff from here. A uh, nice little closer, instead of just dropping it on top of the pack, this is a little bit of a tip, but you kind of do this. And that just looks a little bit more fancy than just, right? So all you're doing here, you still have it between your middle and thumb. You're gonna kind of do like a Stuart Gordon move where you're just gonna like turn it over and close it like a book. So you turn your hand, your thumb slides down, keeping that grip, and then you just close it. And what that looks like, it's just a nice way to close that cut. So I hope you enjoyed that. That's all. Uh, that's all I can say on that. Come up with your own flourishes and let me know in the comments what you guys thought. All right, guys. Well, that was the quick tutorial for some basic cardistry moves. Hope you guys enjoyed that, and I hope you guys enjoyed this series. Remember, if you want to see more of these videos, it's very important that you like this video and you comment below. Give us some feedback. Uh, that way, we can keep bringing you this series. We really, really love doing this, but we need your help to keep it going, or else if it's not a success, we're just gonna we're just gonna drop it. To be honest, like we need to know. You guys need to tell us. Let's, let's talk. Let's have have a conversation. So let us know below what you thought if this was helpful or what you think about the series and we'll catch you guys on the next one. So stay tuned and it was fun seeing you sort of. We'll see you next time. Peace.